I want to start out by saying thank you to the folks at NBC for giving the world the sing-off for the last three years. As much as singing shows have been more and more in vogue over the last decade or so, and acapella has become more popular, I know that giving the show even a four-episode run like he did in 2009 was a gamble. Acapella is weird. It's quirky. It's not necessarily what the cool kids do. But you got behind this concept, and you let this niche community get a few hours of prime time for three years now. I commend you for that. But let's be honest with one another. The ratings have gone down this season, and when push comes to shove, I understand that you're a business, and as such, you need to think about the bottom line. That's how many people are watching your shows, and how much money advertisers are giving you. The nature of business is competitive. If the sing-off can't match the ratings of Dancing with the Stars on ABC or Two and a Half Men on CBS, I understand that that's a problem. But what the sing-off brings to NBC that none of these other series can is a sense of community. People who watch Dancing with the Stars watch out of curiosity or because one famous person they like is going to try to pull off an East Coast swing. People who watch Two and a Half Men want to see if Ashton Kutcher can possibly bring on as big a train wreck as Charlie Sheen did. People who watch the sing-off are part of a community. We're the people who love music and who love the unique, quirky, and fun culture that has developed around this particular segment of the music world known as a cappella. We're the ones who not only tune in on Monday nights, but buy the tracks on iTunes. We're the ones who are going to keep listening to three kids from Texas sing their hearts out with a rhythm section they met over YouTube. And the ones who will keep on celebrating our group of college kids who not only made a Queen medley relevant, but reinvented the music in their own image. Even though the sing-off looks like a competition with its confrontational name and the weekly eliminations, that's not what this show has ever been about for the performers, much less your core audience. It's about bringing people together, bar none the most amazing vocal talents in the world, and letting them do their thing on a stage where all of America can hear them. And whether you want to talk about Overboard, or Muse, or The Stereotypes, or Devisi, there are a lot of voices out there left to be heard. Make no mistake about it, acapella isn't going anywhere. It's going to get bigger. The acapella universe is going to keep on growing. It can do so with a peacock-logoed rocket strapped to its butt, or it can do so without you. Think about it. Thanks for listening.